and welcome. Today we will see another one mathematical process which is called as the autocorrelation. In previous video we have seen the cross correlation. Correlation it is a mathematical process which is useful for the comparison between the two signals. It gives the similarities between the two data sequences. So cross correlation it is basically used for the comparison of the two different data sequences. But the autocorrelation, it is the process where we are comparing one sequence with itself and it provides the similarity or the repetition of a signal within its own. So let us define this mathematically autocorrelation. So autocorrelation R of xx for the L sample, it is given for given by the summation from n is equal to minus infinity up to infinity x of n into x of n minus l. So here the signal x it is compared again with the x so that is called as the autocorrelation. Similarly this equation of the autocorrelation can be given by this formula. Let us calculate the autocorrelation of a simple sequence x of n is equal to 1 2 1 1 with itself. So here we are having the standard equation for the autocorrelation. Let us solve this step by step. In first step, let us write this sequence as it is. Applying the value of L is equal to 0. So when we apply the value of L is equal to 0 in this equation, the equation is reducing in this way. So you will find that here we are just multiplying this sequence with itself for the sample of N. And here after doing the addition and multiplication procedure of these different samples, we are getting the first R of xy for the 0th sample. In the next step, let us apply the second value of L, that is L is equal to 1. So again, this standard equation of this autocorrelation, it will reduce in this fashion. So one important point to be noted that when we apply L is equal to 1, so here the sequence x of n, it is shifting to the right side. So the empty position of the sequence, we are replacing by the padding of zeros over here. Same, we have to do the multiplication and addition procedure between the x of n minus 1 and x of n. So we are multiplying these samples and after multiplying, we are getting this value. In third step, let us apply the second value of L that is equal to 2. Again, following the same procedure, we are getting the next value of R of xy for the 2. In next step, let us apply L is equal to 3. One important point to be noted over here, when L is equal to 3, the signal x of n, it has to be shifted on the right side by the 3 samples. And next after we are doing this multiplication and addition procedure of x of n and x of n minus 3, we are getting another one value of r of xy of 3. Now let us see what happens when we apply the negative values of L, that is the L is equal to minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. In such a case, again one important point to be noted that the signal will shift now to the left side. And after shifting the signal, again multiplying the signal with the original one. So after multiplication and addition procedure, we are getting these different values over here. Let us summarize this. So it is giving the autocorrelation of the signal x with itself. Let us see different properties of the correlation. Here we are listing these different properties of this correlation. That is when a signal matches perfectly with itself at a zero, shift then the autocorrelation sequence of the sig signal attains its maximum energy value. In case of autocorrelation sequence, upper limit of energy can be given by this formula. So that is about the autocorrelation.